check it out. Midlife Carpentry has got a little sign. <laughs> All right, there you go. Righto, guys. Uh, Chris here, Midlife Carpentry. Uh, welcome back to another instalment on the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks in advance, very much so. Yes, it has been absolutely bonkers this way. Um, I flat out busy, but hey, you know, it's, it's all part of life and we keep moving forward and ticking along. The exciting thing that has really kind of um, blown me away a little bit and it, it's got me a bit, you know, choked up and stuff today just thinking about it. Um, I'm halfway through my apprenticeship. As of the 1st of July, I'm officially a third year apprentice. Halfway through the apprenticeship. It's been two years and it really has absolutely flown by. Like the things that I've learned, the experiences that I've had, the people I've met, like it, it, it's phenomenal what has come from that decision a couple of years back about, hey, I'm gonna head down this road. I wanna have a crack at becoming a carpenter. I'm gonna go and do this. I'm 40 years old, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. 42 years old now, in the third year, and uh, yeah, there's no shine to stop and hey, absolutely love what I do. I thoroughly enjoy it. Over the past few days has been absolutely amazing. And you'll see that on my Instagram um, story. If, if you haven't had a look at it, check it out. Like it, it just shows a couple little photos and things that I've been involved with over the past few days. And it's given me such a buzz and a such, such an amount of enjoyment and fulfillment inside that it's, it's, it's hard to express, to be honest. So yeah, I think it's really, really made me realize that my hobby is my job. Like that's, what I do now, like what I enjoy doing is what I get paid to do. So um, that's amazing, it's fantastic. So yeah. So yeah guys, if you are out there, you are thinking about doing it, have, have a really long assessment about whether you wanna jump ship and become an apprentice or whatever, but yeah, make sure it's something that you're gonna be passionate about, make sure it's something you know that you enjoy because yeah, you do need that commitment and stuff like that. The one thing that I've learned over my time so far as an apprentice. The one thing that has really stuck out. Now there's lots of other stuff there that, that stuck out, you know, things like consistency, you know, that's all there, that's great. You know, um, making sure that, um, you know, you, you apply yourself and all that sort of thing, that's cool. But the biggest thing I find is resilience, okay? That, that resilience as a trade person or tradesman, tradesman, tradeswoman, whatever, trades question mark whatever you want to say that resilience is important okay so the resilience to get the job done the resilience to keep pushing until it's done the resilience to go right i'm going to find a way around this i'm going to make this work i'm going to make this happen and to still keep that standard as well that i i, I think is probably the the main area where i guess tradesmen excel like that's it's, it's being thrown that task and you, you push. I'm not talking about flogging yourself silly or anything like that. I'm talking about when you get to the point where you're like, oh, I give up, I don't wanna do this, it's too hard. I can't fix this, give up, walk away. Or why are we doing this? This is hopeless. No, it's not hopeless, all right? You think it's hopeless, but it's not. Your resilience is there. You've got it, you have it inside you and you've just gotta really knuckle down and hook in. And especially if you've got guys around you who are in that same frame of mind to get stuck in and do it, live and breathe that, get amongst that. Like it's, it's such an awesome trait to have and it will help you like through life considerably. Uh, I'm, I'm finding personally, I, I feel like I'm dealing with other situations better, if that kind of makes sense. But yeah, that's enough jibber jabber about that guys. Time for some exciting stuff now. Have you seen the latest addition to my drawers? Yeah, I've got a few new little additions down here. Come here, I'll show you. Let's go. So, there's a few new little cutouts and dribs and drabs in the end of the drawers here. So, um, yeah, I've made some purchases before the end of financial year, which I think is pretty standard for most guys. Um, I've tried to be a little bit smart about it this year. Um, I made sure that all my purchases were under that $300 mark in the effort to get basically that back for my tax for this financial year. And then when I get my tax back, then I'll get stuff that's over that $300 mark and um, I'll work on that depreciation and stuff for that financial year, that kind of makes sense. So I should get more back at the end of the financial year. Anyway, you, I think some of you guys understand that, others may not. But one of the big purchases that I did get, well, two, two that I'm really excited about, is this level 
and this track, both of which are actually quite long. Two meter level, 2.1 meter straight edge, which I've had for a while. You guys know that, you've seen that on my videos and stuff. And this track is actually three meters, but I have to cut it down. As I'm sure most guys know, that's kind of pretty standard. In most of the events, you have to trim down your track so as to get them in like a van or something. But yeah, trimming that off, most unfortunate. I still got 2.7 meters. I got 1.4 I can hook up. So either way, I can get a fair bit of length out of the tracks if I need to. But Chris, where does it magically disappear to? When you close the drawers, how do you get that length inside? Come, come with me, follow me to a world of pure imagination. I think that's the song. <laughs> Copyright issues. If you guys want to write something in the comments about being a Muppet and uh, putting things upside down, go for it. I'll enjoy it. <laughs> There's still some van build stuff to do, guys. I've still got to actually make a box around this, which I'll probably try and do over the next few days. I have got some time off at the moment, but um, we'll, we'll see how that pans out uh, for availability of time, because I do want to focus on the house this time around. Um, I do plan to get a fair bit of painting done. I want to try and um, do some work on some repairs and stuff for the eaves and fascias and stuff that need to happen. And uh, yeah, work on trying to get this carport to a point where it's going to be finished. So. Yeah, a very, very busy few days ahead, that's for sure. But um, I, uh, as you all know, I enjoy this sort of stuff. Absolutely live it and breathe it. And it, it's just really is a part of my life and, and the enjoyment and fulfillment I get from it is, is phenomenal. So yeah, I, I just, I don't really know what to say about, um, yeah, how, how else to, uh, to portray how I'm feeling about all of this. So yeah, yeah. Righto guys. I'm going to leave you with a bit of a clip of us doing a job uh, in an office fit out and stuff. It's a bit of a time lapse I've put together. Um, the boss will probably share it out there on, on his social media and stuff of like that over time too. But um, I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's important to see um, some of the commercial side of carpentry. I don't, you don't really see a lot of it. Um, it. It's a bit of a different can of worms and stuff, but it is a, it's a great deal of fun too because it's pretty cool. We're all inside. We're um, working as a team, we're in a short space. This office, this fit out had 22 offices, I think somewhere in there in total, uh, close to 22 doors, 23 doors or something in there as well that were replaced and uh, had to be installed. So it was a, a good sized project for, for the crew that I, that I was with. And um, yeah, it was, it was good to be a part of it, to go from basically bare bones, um, nothing, empty shell kind of thing to, to what it is and what you'll see in the end of the pic, so end of the video. So. Build on legends, you have a cracker of a week or weeks or weekends or whenever I get to chat with you just again. I am all good. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a delay in getting bits out to you and stuff, but bear with me. I do have a stack of content to shoot through years. So yeah, exciting times ahead on Midlife Carpentry. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see something, if you wanna if you wanna know more, if you have any questions or anything about me or about um, you know carpentry staff and apprenticeship or any of that business and stuff. You know, shoot, shoot me something in the comments, jump on Instagram if you want to shoot me a message. Like, I'm always happy to hear from you guys, here to support you, here to help you out where I can. And um, yeah, you know, we're, we're all in this together. We need to get more people in trades. It just needs to happen, so, all right? We've got to build some more of this, uh, this country. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Right, hey, guys, we'll catch you later, hey? All the best. I'm going to go do another job now. I've got a little uh, job I've got to help out a friend with, so. All right, see you later.